Hi, wonderful people. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Charles Peace. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to achieve a 360 degrees peplum, 720 degrees peplum, 1080 degrees peplum, and 1440 degrees peplum. Trust me, this video is going to be short and simple. You will learn the easiest way to cut it. Now, first of all, when you want to achieve your 720 degrees peplum, the base of all the degrees is on 360 degrees peplum. What do I mean? Now, if you want to achieve 720 degrees peplum, what you have to do is just to cut your 360 degrees peplum into two places. You cut one and cut two and join it together. It will be when you join it, it's going to be full. So that one is now your 720 degrees. Now, for your 1080 degrees peplum, what you have to do is just cut it into three places. It's just simple. You know, the way people ask is, How do I achieve this? It's very, very simple. As far as you've gotten your 360 degrees peplum correctly. You just place it on your fabric and cut it as much as you want. You can go ahead if you even if you want to make it up to 2000, you can go ahead. You will, as far as you're gonna plant it for it to look beautiful. That's the main thing. So now for you to cut 1440 degrees peplum, what you need to do is just to cut your 360 degrees peplum that you've cut, just place it on your fabric and cut into four pieces and join it together when you are now sewing it you have to plain it has a lot of plating that's what makes it to be very full like that you know when you see you say ah this one is too full it's just the fuller part of it that's the main thing that's what makes it more beautiful so now i'm going to use a pattern paper to demonstrate what i really mean now for those of you that have not subscribed to my channel please kindly subscribe to my channel click on the bell icon to be notified anytime i publish another video and don't forget to share it to your friends now I'll use this pattern paper to demonstrate it i'll fold it into two equal parts firstly when you're about to cut your blouse or your top remember it has a half length then your peplum side you determine how many your half length will be if it's mine my half length is 17 inches now if i want to cut maybe the length of 25 inches or 26 inches if i minus my half length the remaining part of the measurement should be for my peplum if my blouse length is 25 inches and my half length is 15 inches definitely the length of my peplum gonna be 10 inches. Then I'll be adding a seam allowance for the down part and the upper part. So now you make sure you get your accurate top measurement, your accurate half length measurement. Then after minusing the half length, you now determine the length of your peplum. Now we start first with the measurement of our top so the length of my top is let's say 25 inches half length of 17 inches now to get the length of your peplum what you need to do is 25 inches minus 17 inches so when you minus this from this Anything you get is the length of your peplum. I'll just show you how you can achieve the 1440 degrees peplum. I'll be cutting with this length. So what I have here is 10 inches. Remember it's on fold. 12.5 inches. Now, to get the radius of my peplum now what you have to do is to get your measurement the circumference of your waistline mine is 35 inches what you normally use to divide for cutting peplum is 6.28 
Now, we are not going to cut with 6.28 because of what? Remember, it's multiple peplum we are cutting. We have to cut this into four pieces. That is, I have to reduce the size so that while planting it, it will be easier and beautiful. Okay? Now, what I will do now is this 6.28 times 2 will give me equal to 12.56. Now, I will be dividing my 35 inches by 12.56. Whatever I have after my calculation should be the radius. That is what you measure here round for you to cut 35 divided by 12.56 see what we are having is 2.8 approximately this is 2.786 so approximately it should be 2.8 inches so the radius of the peplum we are making is 2.7 inches that's what i will mark here now 2.8 inches approximately now i will mark it round okay remember we are cutting with a pattern paper so you have to cut the length that you wish what we have here i'm using this one as an illustration so you know when you are cutting you should use your length the length of your peplum now what we have here is just 7.2 so if i'm cutting my full peplum maybe i want the length of my peplum to be 10 inches you know you're not going to cut exactly 10 inches you'll be adding seam allowance maybe cutting it 11 inches or 11.5 depending on how you want it because at the hemline you have to fold in small for it not to come out as in the lining part not to show when you put it on so now what i have here is 7.2 then i will measure it round i'll measure this 7.2 round that is the length hope you understand what i'm doing if you are kind of confused please drop your question at the comment section i will answer any question this is 7.2. Okay, I'll be cutting it now. Okay. Now this is number one. Take long. You can see it. Now what I'll do now is to place it and cut the three remaining ones. So I have to number it. This is number one. Now when you are placing it, please don't forget to place it at the exact place. Like, what do I mean? This place has two folding and this place has one. You must place it the same way to get the right thing. Because if you place it the other way around, you get the wrong thing altogether. So you must make sure you place it accordingly. Place it well. Then you cut. That is two. number three now this is the four pieces of the peplum this is number one number two number three and number four now the next thing i will do is to open it when you want to open it, make sure why I place it this way is that so that I will know exactly the right place I'm opening it from. Now, I have to pick only one folding 
that is up at the upper side then i'll open it up number one number two the same thing number three then number four okay then i have to spread it open this is number two this is four if you want to cut 720 degrees that is two of this you'll be joining two of this like this you join the two edges together you join it together you've gotten your 720 degrees peplum to be wider and you plant it now if it's 1080 degrees that is three of these one two three you join it together but if it's 144 degrees you have to join the four pieces together now let's start with joining it two by two we we'll first pick number one and number two i will join this number one and number two first with half inch i will join it now then i'll show you the next one how to add the third and the fourth one now i've joined this side and this is what we are having here remember i did not add zipper allowance because i know by the time I cut it into four pieces, I have extra to add for my zipper. That's why I did not bother to add zip allowance when I'm cutting it. This is what we have here. You can see that this is for 720 degrees. You can see how thin it is. Now, the next thing I'll do to add the third peplum making it 1080 degrees now this is number three i was well picked one side of it join with this side and i'll sew it now we have gotten 1080 degrees so we'll be adding the last peplum which will make it 1440 degrees the same way you can go ahead if you want to call 2000 is up to you and the main thing is to plant it to be beautiful so i'll be adding the last one so i will join it as well then we'll start the planting now i've joined all of them so what i'll do now is to plant normal planting boss planting or knife planted depending on the style you want. Now, we'll be doing it boss planting. Now, just watch what I'm doing. Now, when you are planting it, make sure you hide all the place that you sold. It should be inside. Make sure it didn't come out on the outer part let it be folded in or planted in you can see the way i did this one so you make sure it didn't show at the outer part so now you continue your planting this is just an illustration you know with fabric it will be more beautiful just showing you the way you can achieve the plant now this is how it will look you can see how it is so i'll go to my sewing machine as well and join it for you to see the beauty of this 1440 degrees is the planting by the time you add your crinoline at the hemline you see how beautiful it will come out it will stand on its own so guys i've joined all of them together you can see how it looks see the inner parts 
It's very full and beautiful. Now, there is an important thing to note when you're joining it. Always measure the length, your waistline. Because when you're planting it, you have to plant it so that it can contain and have maybe one inch or thereabout for your zipper. So you should take note of the length while you're joining it. It will determine how the folding will be. Because when you are folding it much like this, and at the end of it, the waistline may not be exact length which you want. So while you are doing it, always be taking note of the length. So the length is for your waistline, so that it will not be short or too much. So guys, this is the front part. Why this is the back piece of it. Now remember what we cut is the down part. That is the peplum side. For the upper side, I mean the half length. If you are used to my channel, you know I've cut a lot of styles on that half length. Either princess bustier or normal bustier. So if you are still confused on how to cut, a princess bustier, normal bustier. I'll put the links on the description box so you watch it very well. It's very simple and easy. Then you can now cut your peplum. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell icon to be notified anytime I publish another video. Join me on my Facebook group at Elegant Styles and Tutorial for different styles of your choice, both English, African styles, kids styles, any style, even men's styles is there too. So guys, drop your comments at the comment section and give it a like, share to your friends. Bye.